What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tanner Collector and welcome to episode 9 of live DVD and Blu-ray hunting. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the recap where I will go over the movies that I have for sale or trade. So if you guys are interested in picking up anything from me, just let me know. Also, I found some really good stuff this week. So, you ready? Let's go! Do a dollar on that one. I don't need a dollar, dude. Thank you, dude. There you go. Thank you.
Okay, folks, we are back in the kitchen. Time for the recap. I'm going to go over all of the movies that are worth money, the out-of-print movies, what I've got for resale, uh, some that I'm keeping that are worth money, and you just saw the clips of what sold from last week. There was one movie uh, that will not be included in this recap that I already resold, and that was Dawn of the Dead Special Edition Divamax. And uh, that sold for $13.99. Be on the lookout for that. I have sold it three times for $10 or more now. All right, let's go over the movies. The first out of print movie we have, and I'm, I'm going over some notes here, is uh, Aguire. And this is, uh, this, go, this goes for around $10. Aguire, The Wrath of God. Then I picked up, this is not out of print, but I picked this up for a dollar. Actually, I picked it up for 50 cents. Um, from the pawn shop, anytime you buy 10 or more $1 uh, price DVDs, uh, you get them for 50 cents. So this is valued at around $12, and that is the Fall Guy, uh, the complete first season. Pick that up for 50 cents, like I said, so I should be able to make some good money there. Um, then we've got Fitzcarraldo. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name, Fitzcarraldo, Fitzcarraldo. Anyway, it sells for anywhere between $10 to $20. And then we got Hell in the Pacific. Sells anywhere from $10, or excuse me, $7 to $10. Paper Moon, $10 to $12. Uh, Flatliners, I'll be keeping this one. Popeye. I'll also be keeping this one. Um, all of these that I just mentioned are for resale. So if any of those suit your fancy, let me know. One that I am keeping and it's worth uh, 7 to $10. It is out of print. And that is Happy Birthday to Me. Another one I'm keeping is An American Werewolf in London. Another that I'm keeping, and this was a great find... The NTSC, the American version of this movie, Dr. Chopper, is valued at around $25. Uh, the, uh, there's, they make DVDs in, for different regions. So for, um, for the North American region, it's valued at around $25. You can find it cheaper for different regions. Um, but for North America, that's what it's going for. The Fun House I picked up. And uh, that is a awesome horror movie from Toby Hooper. He directed um, the original Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'll be keeping that one. For resale is Creepshow 2. This is out of print, and it sells anywhere from $8 to $10. Another one that I'm keeping is Frozen Blu-ray. I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. It looked pretty interesting. And that is Mom and Dad Save the World. For resale is Memories. It's an anime. And it goes for around $10. Pick that up for a dollar. One that I am keeping is Grave Matters. Then in this next stack, I found some awesome, awesome movies. We got Black Christmas Special Edition. This goes for around $16. Got it for 50 cents. Straw Dogs. Dustin Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman movie goes for around 10 bucks. I got that for 50 cents. This was a fantastic find. And that is Silent Scream. This is out of print and sells for $25 or more. Picked up The Fog, that's going in my collection. Rollerball, James Conn movie going in my collection. Silver Bullet, in my collection. Not of the Living Dead, this may be for resale, I'm not sure yet. But that's going in the collection for now. Uh, Silver Bullet sells for around $10 by the way. Another one that is out of print is He Knows You're Alone. And this goes for around 20 bucks. Pick that up for 50 cents. 
And then, just because I did not have this, it's an awesome movie, Dead Poets Society. All right, the next stack we've got, I also found some really good stuff in here. All right, we've got Unbreakable, keeping that one. This is a George Lucas movie I'd never heard of. Uh, it's the director's cut of THX 1138. I've never heard of this, but I love George Lucas, so I'm going to check that out. Insidious, keeping that. A fantastic out-of-print find here. This sells for $20 to $25. I picked it up for $0.50, cents, and that is humongous. I watched this the other night, and it's, it's pretty out there. Another one that I watched the other night, it too is out of print, sells for around $10, is Tourist Trap. Picked up Count Yorga Vampire. Midnight Movies, MGM Midnight Movies. Another MGM Midnight Movies double feature is The Land That Time Forgot and The People That Time Forgot. Then I got from Catcom, Double Feature, Satanic Rise of Dracula, and The Deep Red Hatchet Murders. An out-of-print movie from MGM is Caveman. This goes for around $10. I watched this last night and laughed my butt off. This is hilarious. If you get that um, Monty Python type humor, <laughs> you'll enjoy this. This is really funny. Another out-of-print movie is Summer of 42. This goes for $17 to $20. And another out-of-print movie that goes for $10 to $15 is Casino Royale. This is the Woody Allen spoof. And um, so be on the lookout for that. This is, uh, this is for sale because uh, Summer of 42 is for sale. Caveman is for sale. Everything else I'm keeping. All right, at a yard sale, you did not see me pick these up. Uh, I got them for a dollar each. Batman vs. Superman, Blu-ray. The Forsaken. And I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies. The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. Awesome movie. Okay, then the last stack. There's a few in here that I'll be keeping and a few I'll be selling. Up for sale is Leatherface. This is the third time I found it. This will be the third time I'm selling it and it goes for around ten dollars. One I'm keeping is The Punisher. This is an artisan title. I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's out of print. It's the Dolph Lundgren uh, Punisher but very awesome find there. One that I know for certain is out of print, and this goes for anywhere between $10 to $12, is Little Nicky. So that is up for sale. One that I have sold twice already, and I sold it for $16 the first time and $17 the second time, is Hooper. Pick this up for $15, uh, for a dollar today. And um, this was actually a Facebook Marketplace find. This guy had listed that he's selling a bunch of DVDs. And I saw this laying in one of the pictures. So I hit him up and I picked up several of his titles. And then we got Creep Show. This too is for resale. Doesn't go for much, but I figured I'd pick it up anyway. And then I went to Walmart tonight. I have seen this movie and it is awesome. If you like Nicolas Cage, if you like the face-off type Nicolas Cage, Definitely, definitely check out this movie called Mandy. This is probably one of his best works I have seen since Face Off. This movie is awesome. It's insanely violent. Um, is really, really well shot. It's really like just the, the screenshots are, are really beautiful. They're really well done. Um, and it's, it's, it's out there. It is out there, and Nicolas Cage rocked this performance. There's one particular scene in this movie where he's in the bathroom, and he goes ballistic. He goes totally Nick Cage on you. 
And uh, so if you have not seen this movie, I highly recommend picking this up. Um, I watched it on online and streamed it for free. And then it just got released to Blu-ray, so I definitely had to pick this up and add this to the collection. Um, but that's it, folks. That's all I've got for you this week. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the little bell icon next to it. When you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I upload new content. All right, folks. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.